Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models. This is issue number 69 of the Terminator. Uh, the half scale model that I've been building for the last long, 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 long time, well, 69 weeks in theory. In practice, it might not be exactly that, but you know, anyway. Uh, right, in this issue, we will be adding hill detail and assembling foot parts. It, it looks like dough, the big dough by the looks of it. Uh, so in this part, we have a collection of plastic parts again uh, mostly plastic uh, pretty much all no oh, that feels that's metallic that one so yep we've got some bits there there's one with a tube around it one without a tube around it which is at a dodgy angle uh, we have oh, more metal oh no more metal parts this week yay it's been a little while but there we go uh, plastic plugs uh, a couple of screws a couple of plastic tubes you know what they're for. These are the, like they did for the upgraded fingers. They've obviously pre-upgraded the toes. And we have some Allen keys, uh, Allen screws. Allen screws? Anyway, screws with an Allen hole in the end of, yeah. Uh, right, so that's all the parts that we have been supplied with. So I'll get rid of the bit, don't need that anymore. Put these off to one side so I can open the magazine and continue with the build. Uh, so, issue 69, part one, step one. Uh, take the assembly for issue 68. There we go, there we have it. The stalk formed by 67, two and three form the heel of the model. Uh, right, so here we have this, oh, look at all that stalk. Oh, that's 69, two and three. Oh, right, from this bit here. Okay, this, this is the heel. So onto that heel, we are going to be attaching a ball. There we go. Uh, cut the two heel details from the frame and smooth any rough edges with a file. Uh, so of course, I'm not gonna be doing any of that. I'm gonna be removing them with some cutters rather than a knife. Uh, I'm not gonna get rid of any rougher details on there yet because they're gonna go together to form a ball. So any sanding that I might do on that, it means only one bit on one side, is likely to leave a flat edge so I don't want to do it until it's assembled so I'm going to assemble it uh, we're going to put that over there it fits with a screw which is obviously one of this screw they've given you two but they only really need one so I shall get one screw out and put one screw to one side to add to my ever-growing uh, stash of screw parts all right so this is going on there it's being screwed from the bottom Although there's holes obviously all the way through there because there needs to be. That one's going to fit through there. Uh, that way around. It's got to be that way around, isn't it? obviously, because of the stalk. That's going to go on that side. If I can get it through there. There we go. Just like that. That's going to go on the top. Just like that. And that screw is going to go in there. Hold them both together and also hold them both onto that stalk. So tightening that down, making sure that that's as good around there as it gets. Uh, there is a seam around there, but the problem is you can't do much to file these because any filing or sanding you do will be removing the uh, plating from that. So yeah, not sure. I, I shall have a think and see what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to end up touching up the plating uh, with some sort of uh, metallic paint or chroming something. Uh, but it's going to be weathered as well. So if it was going to be making it look nice and shiny, there'd be big problems. But as it's going to end up looking a bit rough, it's less problems. So we now have uh, step four, uh, taking the first foot part, 63, Six, three, which is that part it says there uh, they're carefully shaped it's got a larger end and a shorter end and obviously it it's goes up and down one side it's actually got a big number stuck on the side there as well it has a seven maybe or one or one at an angle right yes we have that we also have this part Right, the, the actual instruction, as you can see on your screen, uh, says take the first foot part, uh, marked one, that uh, is a one on there, and the toe joint, the ends of uh, part 
69.3, this part, uh, form hinge joints. One end on the right is larger than the other. Position the parts as shown, number marking three facing downwards. So that has indeed got a uh, six on there. Doesn't look like a three, but we won't worry too much about that. So that's going to go in there by the looks of it. A smaller hinge fits over the small, yes, as indicated. Right now, the expert tip uh, says that the bars are carefully shaped, they must be put together the right way round to ensure the foot has the proper shape. Examine the photographs carefully as you work through the steps. That's really not an expert tip, that's just the instruction. An expert tip, I would have thought, would have been something to help out and make it even better, but yeah, that sort of isn't anyway. Right. We're taking that, we're taking one of these grub screws and the Allen key that they supplied us many, many weeks ago, that is the correct size, is going to go through there, but is it, is, where's, uh, let's try and see what happens. Yeah, there is a thread on the one side of that, so that is okay, that is threading through into there. Uh, Right, fitted that through there, the other side, hold it together, keep it central so it doesn't protrude, yes. So you can tighten it down until it basically comes all the way through, you don't want to. Tighten it down until it comes flush, so put your finger the other side, just tighten it down until you feel it touch, and that'll be that. It's not flush, not sticking out either side. So that's that. Right, take the other tube, uh, which again is marked Again, it looks like he's marked with a 1 as well, but we won't worry too much about that. It might be a 7, I can't tell. Anyway, getting it the right way round, so it's that way round as in the picture. It's got that extra step to it here. Uh, that is going to go onto there. But it's not just going to go onto there, it's going to go onto there with a tube. So let's open the tube. Open the tube packet. We've got three tubes in there. I'll put them two to one side. That one is going to go through there, just like that, okay. So that holds it in place, it's got not really any movement, it's got movement but not really any friction there. Don't know if it needs any yet, we'll worry about that in a minute. Uh, other parts that we still have is this, uh, there's a selection of pins, all the same. Uh, it says we're going to need, uh, actually we're going to need two, so I'm going to take two off. Leave the rest of them on there, because we're not going to be using those yet. That's that. Uh, once again, a little bit of sanding just to make sure there's no rough edges that are going to cause a fit problem. That's that. Uh, and that is fitting into that tube. So I did get two, but I thought it was going to be one either end, but it looks like there isn't, so that's going to go pretty much through to the other side. Push it in, grip, it should become, that. I like that. that, that is a good fit, but I'm still not sure about the other side of it, it looks a little bit rubbish, but anyway, that, that's that for now. It does indeed fit through there, I'll keep that to one side, I'm sure I'll be using that momentarily. Uh, indeed, step nine, uh, the other piece here, that fits between that end, uh, and that fits indeed with a second washer, and the second pin. So we'll put that through from the same side, Just give it a little wobble until it hits through flush. Line that up on there, and then that we can just push in. Uh, what should I use? The ends of this is a little bit rubbery to give us a little bit more pressure. That goes through into there, and that again creates a joint that is quite secure but can move when you want it to. That, that's exactly what they were intending to do with the fingers, I think, but it didn't quite come through there. Right. There we go, so I've done that, I've fit the plastic sleeve, fit the plug into that, uh, and that is stage complete. Uh, it does say to keep hold of these for a later date, obviously I've got a spare tube there as well, which is always useful, 
and a spare Allen key as well, or not Allen key, Allen nut, Allen screw, whatever they want to call it. Uh, that is that stage complete. Uh, we have ankle and I assume part of ankle, tendon, toe, something. We'll find out soon. Uh, let's move those to one side. Have a quick look through the rest of the magazine. Uh, Dread. I have seen that. That was very good. I quite enjoyed that. Gritty, but yes. All good. Uh, and Dread Drugs and Time Dilation. Oh, because it was about, yeah, an interesting falling scene with time dilation in there. Yeah. I don't even know what that is, so I won't bother trying to read that. But there we go. And we'll be back as ever with next week's issue. We are continuing assembling the right foot. Looks like uh, probably two more toes by the looks of it, assuming it builds the same way as the other one. Uh, so yes, that was issue 69. I, I do have issue 70, so I shall be filming and uh, bringing that to your uh, monitor of choice very shortly, probably in the next day or two. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying the build. Do let me know if you are or if you're not. Let me know as well. I, you know, feedback's always good. Thank you for watching. I shall see you soon for more. Stay safe. Bye bye.